In this video, we will show you how to install a DoorWorks enclosure on a club car precedent onward or tempo. This enclosure works with all three factory club car setups, golf, rear facing seat, and utility box. This install will require the following tools. Start by identifying the header bars. To install the headers, remove the nuts from the outermost roof strut bolts using 8 and 10 mm sockets and wrenches. You can now put the driver's side header bar in place and secure it. And locking them in place. Repeat on the passenger side. Now you can attach the standout latches to the rear header by placing the included 1 inch bolt with washer through the hole, positioning the standout latch, and securing it to the side header bars using a 5 16 wrench or socket. Repeat this on both sides. To attach the front door posts, you must first install the front post clip brackets. Remove the Torx bolt located here using a T40 bit. Then, lifting the trim with a flathead screwdriver or non-marring tool, slip the clip in place and return the Torx bolt, repeating on the other side. Next, attach the top of the door post by threading the included 1 inch bolt and washer through the holes in the post and header, and secure with a 3 8 and 5 16 wrench and ratchet. Now attach the bottom of the post and lock in place. To install the rear door posts, you must first install the large L brackets. To do this, remove the nuts from the bolts located on the aluminum bar that runs across the golf cart just in front of the rear wheels using a 13 mm socket. Now, attach the L brackets and secure. Next, using the included hex bolts, place the bolt and washer in the hole on the header bar and hand tighten the nylock nut. You can now attach the tops of the posts by sliding the F-tabs over the bolts and tightening using a 3 8 wrench and 5 16 ratchet, leaving them loose enough to make later adjustments. Now, secure the bottom of the posts and tighten with a 3 8 and 5 16 wrench and ratchet. With that done, you can install the door panels on the door, ensuring the notches for the hinges and latches are aligned. To install the front side panel, you must first remove the windshield by taking out the bolts at the bottom of the windshield using a 10 mm socket, unclipping the top, and dislodging the lower support clips. If your cart is equipped with mirrors, you should remove those at this time. They can be reattached over the covers later. To install the panels, simply secure in place by wrapping around the posts and securing the Velcro, repeating on the other side. Now the door can be installed and any necessary adjustments can be made. If the door needs to be adjusted, gently tap with a rubber mallet until the door properly aligns and opens and closes freely. You can then tighten the door posts to secure final placement. In addition to being removable, our doors feature a zippered window. Simply zip down and tuck behind the crossbar. To install the back panel, remove the seat back by removing the two bolts on the back side of the seat using a 10 mm socket. and setting it aside. You can then put the panel in place with the flap side down and secure it to the header and door posts by fastening the Velcro loops. This enclosure works with all three factory club car setups, golf, rear facing seat, and utility box with a standard two passenger roof. With the back panel secured, you can then return the seat and reinstall the bolts. The back panel window can be rolled up and secured for easy access to the sweater basket. and is available for custom seats. At this point, you can reinstall the windshield. 
To reinstall the bolts, locate the hole and line up the factory bolts, gently tapping with a rubber mallet to poke through the fabric. You can reattach the mirrors by marking the location on the front post and drilling to then secure the factory bolts. Install the weather sealing by placing the rear wind guard in place and securing with the attached Velcro. You can then install the side weather stripping, tucking in place between the roof and the header bar. When assembled on the door, the door latch should have the bolt going through a spacer on either side of the door frame secured with a lock nut. Thread the bolt through the frame and spacers, attach the lock nut, and tighten with a 3 8 and 5 16 wrench and ratchet, leaving loose enough to flip up and down freely. This now completes the installation of your hinge door enclosure. We also offer several optional accessories for this golf cart. Our windshield kit is designed to fit snug to the windshield, stopping any drafts or cold air that may get into the cart. Simply attach to the windshield and secure the windshield in place. Wind can also cause DoorWorks enclosure doors to slam against the rear tire, causing the tire to rub against the fabric and leave a mark. Door guards solve this problem with a simple snap-in installation. Rubber weather stripping for the door will add an extra water and air barrier between the door and the post. Thanks for watching.